Good morning, everyone. This is Gary Kay, and I'm joined with a friend, Melody Craigmile here. Uh, Melody is the, the Vice President of Marketing for Exertus Almo. Melody, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on the show, Gary. Well, you know, my favorite distributor event for more than a decade now has been the E4 experience. I mean, it's quite unique. Um, it's not like a typical small regional show. It's quite different. Uh, it's got a educational component to it and exhibit. Com well, let's run this video. There's like a little, there's a sizzle reel that y'all put together that's less than a minute. Let's run that video real quick. Okay, sounds good. All right. So as you can see, I mean, this is not just your typical, this is more like a miniature Infocom. And a lot of people didn't go to Infocom this year. And this will be the first, you know, we're doing the first show. We got two events this fall, uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, later this month on September 23rd on a Friday. And then we have um, October 20th in Boston. Let's talk about the D.C. event uh, first. Um, Melody, this will be the first time that an event has been in D.C. in a long time. I don't think anyone does events in D.C. anymore. <laughs> yeah, so we're really excited to be back in the D.C. area. This was one of the first events we actually had to cancel due to the pandemic. So uh, the customers have been waiting for a long time for us to come back around with the roadshow. And and the program is going to be bigger and, and better than ever. Yeah, and this is, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is most people don't go to tr big trade shows, have not gone since 2019. So a lot of cases, this will be the first time that people have seen the new products they've been reading about or watching videos of uh, in person. And it's not like, you know, most companies are just going to go build a video wall or build an LED wall for one client. Uh, this is a great place for you to see uh, sort of like every new product that was launched at Infocom. You're going to have uh, something around 50 brands, close to 50 brands there. And so you're going to have a lot of stuff you can see. It's not just a tabletop exhibit. Yeah, absolutely. Our, our exhibitors are, are really excited about um, the opportunity they have to showcase their, their new products. And, you know, one of the trends that we've been seeing since we've uh, been back on the, the show um, tour is that a lot of what I call the savvy integrators are really taking note that they can bring their key end users to the E4 event. And through their partnership with Alma, Exertus Alma, they can see everything that they can offer. And, you know, as you were saying, Gary, you know, sometimes you're trying to close that deal for that new DV LED wall and, you know, dealers don't have a showroom anymore. Or they can't yeah. get on site to build the demo, but, you know, here they can bring them and, uh, and dealers are finding that they can help, they can close business at the E4 event along with networking and education and all the other benefits that they get from being a part of the show. I think that the, the bringing in users became an, as it was an organic thing. I know that originally the, the E4 wasn't marketed to end users. It was more like an insider in the industry, but I think you're right that the smart dealers have realized this is a great opportunity for them to use it as a showroom for a day. They can kind of tour their, their, uh, their customers around and pick and choose what they talk about. Speaking of touring around, I'm very excited. We'll talk about my keynote in just a second, but I'm excited to bring something back. And that is, it's been at least four or five years since we've been able to do a live show floor tour. And we use the Listen Talk system from Listen Technologies. Every uh, registered attendee that signs up for the tour, which you get CTS credits for, by the way, you you get a headset where you can talk to me and we're going to actually go through. I'll pick, I pick usually 10 to 15 
key products that people should see? I mean, obviously micro LED and is going to be a thing that people should see. Some of the new audio technology uh, people should experience that. Um, there's new display technology since last time we were in DC. Um, but I, so I'm excited to actually be doing that tour live. Uh, there's going to be a limited number of space. I think we only have 30 headsets. So that's yeah. something you want to run over to the e4experience.com. Register for the show, but definitely plan on attending that. Um, what is your, I mean, I know that that you, Melody, personally were, were instrumental in making this a big CTS event because there's, a, you know, you can earn almost almost 10 CTS credits uh, if you were to attend each of the educational se sections. I know that education is one of the E's in E4. Yeah, definitely. And uh, as you were saying, the expo is always one of you know people's favorite parts. And and sometimes people are trying to balance between, oh, do I go to this class? Or do yeah. I spend more time in the exhibit hall? And I think that's what's really cool about your exhibit hall tours that you know this is a hundred percent your editorial. I just want to make sure everybody knows yeah, that, that this is, it's not sponsored. Yeah. Like you're literally going through and picking what you think are the industry trends, the hottest mm -hmm. products, and then giving somebody that, you know, 30 minute snippet uh, and pointing out some of the, the most, you know, intriguing things on the show floor. And at the same time, they can still take those CTS classes and, uh, you know, we're, we've always been a big supporter of CTS because I think it lends credibility to our curriculum. There's no product commercials here. Um, we've got great instructors, Chuck Espinoza, Tom Kerr, uh, yourself. We've got some other folks joining us doing some panel discussions. Uh, Tom LeBlanc is going to be mm -hmm. from NSA. is going to be in Boston. And Alicia Henley is going to be with us in D.C. Uh, talking about some trends for 2023. So a lot of lively discussion, exchanging of ideas, this networking aspect is also one of the E's that people are really looking forward to they're they're ready to get back and and meeting with their industry peers and 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 seeing on what's going on out there with new product education and, and all the different things it's also a convenient location you don't have to go downtown dc to get to it it's actually in reston at the hyatt regency in reston uh, so it's a great location easy to get to anywhere in and around the dc area south nor or north or in middle of dc to go out you're going opposite of traffic uh, my my keynote is it starts promptly at 9 a.m. And this is the this we've done it a couple of times uh, on the West Coast, um, but it's all about building experiences in a way. Just what you were talking about, Melody, is getting people back to the office is going to take more than just saying you have to come back to the office. You're going to have to build an experience around them that they feel comfortable with because they they've gotten comfortable being at home and sort of got into a routine. But the truth of the matter is we don't collaborate the same, no matter how great our tech tools are. And we don't we don't sort of like um, you, 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 how do you even train people uh, to do a new job or train interns or, in, you know, or onboard someone when you're not there in person. So there's going to be some period of time where we're going to be bringing people back to the office. And I believe that experiences that our industry does this really well. We started with digital signage, but. You know, we're doing it now in UCC, we're doing it in all aspects of AV, and you're actually going to show that on the show floor with some of the LED products and some of the cool ways that you can install some of the products that we have that are new. Yeah, and I think the thing that I've enjoyed about your keynote, Gary, just kind of seeing it, the evolution of that over, you know, the past few months is, you know, as our environment changes, as, you know, COVID protocols change, you know, you've continued to update that keynote. Yeah. So, you know, we're always bringing the latest, the freshest material to the E4 and to the dealers so that they can, you know, really um, take advantage of what's happening now and, and educating their customers on here are some of the best practices for experiences. Here's how you engage people and get them back in the office. Here's how you make sure that that person that's still working remotely is not left behind when people go back into the office, right? So we're talking about this equity, meeting equity yeah. is a big term that um, we've been talking about. And I even know, I know even within our own organization here at Exertus Almo, you know, we're, we're bigger, we're multinational uh, company now and dealing on different time zones and different technologies. And so, you know, the remote aspect of it is just as important as, as the in-person. And um, I think just shedding light on all those things is a, is a key component of the E4. And you do get to see that. You experience it. A lot, a lot of the UC companies bring actual installs. Uh, you know, there's a lot of new, I mean, you're going to see all the product that was launched at Infocom from the brand. Speaking of which, uh, this will be the first time that Almo is now Exertus Almo in uh, DC. Uh, first time they'll have an experience. 
with that. And, and that brings a lot more products, right? A lot more opportunities. Yeah, a lot, a lot more opportunities, lots of new exhibitors um, that, you know, both on the Exerta side and the Almo side that people haven't seen before. And yeah. so, you know, you'll get, you'll get to get up close and personal with those manufacturers and, and have a conversation about what the product is, what it, how it could fit into their designs. And um, that's also one of the the cool things about the E4, I think, is just the intimacy that the environment lends that people can have, you know, conversations with the engineers from different manufacturers and consultants and end users. And it's just a great mix of people. Yeah. And I, I really want to draw everyone's attention to the education. If you look at the education, that alone is a reason to go, but you're going to see all these new products too. Uh, <clears throat> Chrissy Sarah is going to do a great class on camera switching in the remote learning environment where you have uh, customers in person uh, or you have students in person, students remote. Um, she's great. Uh, obviously, she's very knowledgeable and award-winning presenter. Um, you, as you said, you're going to have Alicia Henley in DC, Tom Kerr, Chuck, and I will also be presenting. All of them you can earn CTS RUs for, Avixa CTS RUs. And Avix is right there in the back in, in your backyard uh, at, at DC. So I hope that we get some people from Avixa to tend to see how different this event is than others. It's the e4experience.com. Again, mm -hmm. we're going to be in DC at the end of this month and on September 23rd. But if you're in the Northeast, we're coming to Boston in October on October 20th. So go ahead and go to e4experience.com and register. Melody, did I leave anything out? They got a lot. We covered a lot. Yeah, no, register. We won't be back to D.C. or Boston for two years. So we haven't been there in four years. So here's your chance. It's one day. Thanks to our sponsors, our manufacturing partners. It's completely free. Uh, all the CTSRUs, breakfast, lunch, uh, all the exhibits, everything, your exhibit hall tour, everything is compliments of our partners. So uh, there's no reason not to come. It's a one day um, that you'll get, you know, all the knowledge, uh, that you need to jumpstart your business and, and get ready for the fall. Well, I'm excited. I'm, you know, stoked to be back in person. I love presenting in person over, you know, there's, there's, it's okay presenting this way, but it's way better presenting in person. You get yeah. a lot of energy from the audience. So I hope to see you all there. Uh, E4experience.com. Thanks for watching Melody and have a great day. Thanks, Gary. With rents and